Good morning, Bruce fam. Um, I'm still trying to edit last night's and yesterday's footage. My phone's been kind of messing up, so I might not get as much film today, but we're about to eat some breakfast. Got some eggs and pancakes, thanks to my wife. Making us breakfast, she usually does. Every morning on the weekend. Yeah, you just start on the weekdays. We do, we do, baby. Well, on the weekdays, I'm up so early and I leave for work, so she doesn't really have time to make me breakfast. Oh my gosh, you guys. That was so freaking good. Thank you, Cheyenne. My parents are gonna come over after church, so we gotta start getting this uh, house cleaned up a little bit. So, we're gonna do that. My desk is also pretty messy, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start working on that as well. I'm a little bit behind on today's vlog um, because I just now finished uploading yesterday's vlog um, because my phone was messing up yesterday so it took me a little bit longer to get going this morning so I apologize for that but we're on track now guys yesterday's vlog has been uploaded and we are ready to go my parents should be getting here soon we're gonna hang out with them I also need to go to Walmart and I want to get a little tripod I saw there while I was getting that um, phone mount for the car um, I also want to get some black um, twist ties so that when I have items with cords, I can use those to, you know, kind of tie up the cords. It looks a little bit better than these rubber bands that come from the thrift stores. My parents just got here. Hold your horses, would ya? It's cold. <laughs> we are going to go to the mall to um, take JT to a little play place and the rest of us are just going to hang out. So here we go. Uh, we are headed to the mall. What, buddy? We go to the mall. Yep, going to the mall. Well, I got ahead of my parents, and we didn't really discuss where we were going to meet at the mall. Like, which part, you know, like there's Best Buy, the library, and all kinds of stuff. So now we got to drive through and uh, try to find them. So we'll be back. All right, guys, we found them. So we're going to head in the mall now. This is why you should not come in the library entrance. We're going to be stuck in here forever. I'm sorry, I was corrected by this man. It's a bookstore, not a library. Steve. Steve. Are you having fun? No. Whoa! Do you want to see that? Man, the mall is so busy today, but we found a nice, quiet spot where nobody is for JT to play, so we're gonna hang out here for a bit. JT, are you gonna play with this? Hi, Riley. Hi. What are you doing? Are you just chilling? I know, I heard that. Oh, cool. Big shout out to my little sis. She bought us all coffee. She's making lots of money working at Bigby now, so. Make sure you tip your baristas, guys, because they might be, you know, someone's little sister and then they'll buy their big brother coffee, so make sure you tip them. Yep. Oh no, oh no, that's not broken. It's supposed to turn like that. Cause that's how he turns when he goes through the track. Oh yeah, whoa. Women be shopping. Am I wrong or am I right? It's so white though. Where'd you? JT would be cute in this. JT, don't fall in. Wow. 
everyone we are gonna take off head back home Cheyenne needs to feed the baby so we're gonna get out of here oh guys that was fun we are so blessed to have my parents so close so they can hang out with us and we can do fun stuff like this I hope you guys are having a good day today we made it home guys thanks for coming out with us to the mall um, I gotta go to Walmart, so I'll probably take you with me. You may be asking yourself, what is he getting at Walmart? Well, we've got a couple grocery list items. And also, I saw a tripod I really want. It's gonna help me with this whole vlog situation. Guys, I hope I'm improving um, with the little stuff, the way I, how I hold the camera, and all these things. We wanna be the best vloggers we can be for you guys. So I appreciate you coming out, taking your time to watch the videos. Guys, comment, like, and share, please. Don't we remember, guys, we need bananas, coffee, sweet rolls, salad, and eggs. And then I want to get my tripod and what else? My tripod and black twist ties so I can tie up the cords for my thrift store items so they look neat and nice. These rubber bands are kind of, you know, crappy looking. So, all right, so we're going to head out the door. We are going to get out of here. Ooh, slippery. All right, here we go. Get on the road again. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It's been a pretty good day here. It's just cold, man. It's hard to stay positive in this cold weather, guys. Oh, I really let my phone get to me with the whole not having enough storage. Oh, the problem was, by the way, the reason my phone wouldn't wasn't having enough storage to record and save videos is because when I would delete them, I wasn't deleting them from recently deleted. So they went to recently deleted and just took up a bunch of storage, you guys. So my dad helped me figure that out. So we got it taken care of. I should be able to vlog now, no problems. Um, but man, I really let it get to me. I, I got angry, I got frustrated. I, I really didn't handle it well. Um, of course, you guys didn't see that, um, but it is. Behind the scenes, things are not perfect. Um, I struggle with anger and frustrations, you know. Sometimes I let the little things get to me, and that was one of them. I let, I let it get to me. Things are not perfect at home. Like, I mean, they're good, but I want to be as real as I can with you guys. But at the same time, I want to set a positive example and also and lead people in a positive direction. I don't want to show the negativity that goes on, but I know I got to be real. Um, because honestly, I get angry and, and sometimes I can, you know, raise my voice at my kids and my wife and sometimes I don't feel like I deserve them. And that's why I lean on God so much because I know that he can help me grow and turn me into the man that I want to be and I know I can't do that on my own. The lady behind me, <laughs> the lady behind me is looking at me like I'm an idiot though because we were sitting at a light and she could she could see me filming. So that, that was quite humbling. But, so we made it, we're here at Walmart. Oh my gosh, you guys, this Walmart is packed. This is how packed the Walmart was. The carts were almost all gone. Okay, so this is what I wanted. Looks like it has a lock on it, so gotta go get help. Alright, we got it. I just need black twist ties and then all the groceries. Look, there I am. Alright, 
shows you how good I am at following directions. All milk too. And we got the premium. We need eggs. This. Man, I really should have got the twist ties before I got all these groceries. I'm gonna walk around the store with groceries because I have no idea where the twist ties are gonna be. Should have thought that one through. Well, I thought they would be in home office, but maybe I'm crazy for thinking that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Don't you think they should have been in home office? So we've got rubber bands, but no twist ties, huh? Okay, so the employee said they're in lawn and garden because they use them to tie up plants. I don't know how I didn't think of it, but it's going to be with automotive and the zip ties. So we found the zip ties, but I am not seeing any twist ties. I don't know. Well, I'll have to order them, so I'm just going to get rubber bands for now. Guys, we got the groceries. I did forget to get the chicken. Cheyenne's probably gonna be upset about that. I mean, I'm a little bit upset. I really want some chicken. I guess I could run back in and get it. It's cold enough out here, the milk shouldn't go bad. You know, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run back and gotta take the shameful walk back into the store because I forgot the chicken. <laughs> It's funny, I never noticed before, if you look around, you can see like all these kids waiting in the car for their parents to shop. I remember doing that as a kid. Good memories. Guys, oh, we got the chicken. So we are gonna go ahead and head home. So, like I was saying earlier, um, I want to be as real as I can without having a negative influence on you guys. Cause honestly, my life would probably be a negative influence because or there would be a lot of things in my life at least that are a negative influence because I'm nowhere near perfect I've got a lot of flaws um, but I'm working on them and with God's help I know you know I'll get through them so yeah guys just bear with me I'll try to show as, as much realism as I can oh man this chicken smells way too good right now guys I am so hungry I'm about to eat this in the car right now. Oh my gosh, I'm starving. So I saw the saddest thing while I was in Walmart. Um, it was a mom and a dad and they met at Walmart. So one of them could get the kids. I'm not sure who it was, but they were handing off the kids because I'm assuming they were either separated or divorced. And oh man, that was just so hard to see, but um, I understand there's cer certain circumstances um, that I am unaware of and some circumstances do call for a divorce like um, if either one can't be faithful I believe the other one has the right to divorce um, or abuse any kind of abuse verbal physical it doesn't matter I think that gives you a reason um, to get out of that relationship especially get the kids away I know this is kind of weird for me to just cut this in here, but I was reviewing and editing the film and I just don't know guys, it's so hard to be the judge of that because it all boils down to trust. Like, if I had enough faith in God, say I was being physically abused by my spouse, which I am not, my wife treats me very well, but say I was, would I have such little faith that I would go and abandon the commitment I made to my wife without first putting my trust in God and saying, God, I know you can change my wife's heart and heart and help her to start loving me and help her start loving herself and help her start loving you. And I know that you will give me the strength to carry on through this hard time that you have 
given me. I don't know, it just... I feel like anything can be fixed by trusting in God, but, you know, it's just hard to be the judge of that because what if your spouse kills you on accident? I don't know, it's, it's just hard. And Christ died for our sins, so even if you do get a divorce, it's not like you're gonna go to hell. God forgives all of your sins. Yeah, it just boils down to how much do you trust God? Um, but yeah, it's just so sad to see you guys. Um, the kid was just bawling his eyes out, hugging his mom. He just, he didn't want to leave his mom. So it's so hard to see. But you guys are wondering if I'm the type of person that tries to grab everything on one trip. Well, oh, I almost lost the milk, guys. That would have sucked. All right, you bet you I'm that kind of person. You got one more bag. I can film and do this too. And, uh, uh -oh. There we go. You just gotta use your feet too, guys. You gotta use every limb God gave you. So, oh, we got it. You can shut the door with your feet. Bada boom, bada bang. Oh, the baby is sleeping. Let's take him to the kitchen here. And boom, guys, we did it. Got it all in one trip. I forgot the chicken. So what? I went back in and I got it <laughs> with the eggs. Okay, good. Because I was thinking, I was thinking, wasn't I, guys? I was like, ah, uh, I better go back in, huh? Gotta feed the family. We got to eat. So it comes with a tripod, the phone holder, a flash kit, um, a remote, and some lens things. Yeah, it comes with that. So it's like a complete photography kit. We're gonna eat some chicken, guys. We're gonna eat some of this chicken. Ooh, it looks good. Yeah, I break it, right? Came with a uh, fisheye lens. I don't know, maybe the other one will work better. Oh yeah, I guess. I guess that's pretty good. I'll give you a test run. This is with it on. This is with it off. So yeah, I guess it is. It is pretty good. I didn't even see that he was pointing that in his eyes until I was editing. <laughs> I am so hungry. I think before I dive into this greasy food, I'm gonna go get a different shirt on so I don't ruin this one guys all right I almost hate doing this guys but because uh, I don't want to brag but we oh we are about to dig in this chicken looks so good Shai's got her salad and she's gonna eat some chicken and she's preparing JT's the baby is asleep so we can eat dinner in peace oh, what a blessing mm, that was so good what do you think babe do you like it it's just salty it was a little salty huh yeah, it was, it was pretty salty. It was like garlic and um, garlic and butter chicken, but it was really good. No. So I know it's not um, morning devotion time. It is Sunday, so I feel like I do get an exception. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about what I saw at Walmart. Uh, divorced parents um, switching off their kids. Um, I just want to say that that could have been avoided with love. Um, and I think modern society kind of has the definition of love twisted. So I just wanted to go over real quick what the real definition of love is. Okay, keep in mind guys, uh, before you watch this next clip, I am not a pastor or anything. I am not even, I wouldn't even call myself wise. So please do not take this next clip as me judging that couple. If anything, my heart just goes out to those kids and I completely understand that those parents had reasons and I am just simply sharing how I feel. Um, I have my own issues, I have my own sins, I am by all means not perfect. I do plenty of things that can be judged but are not judged because God saved me. The modern misconception of love is that it's this ooey gooey feeling in your heart and if you don't have your that feeling in your heart then you don't love that person but that is not true. Love is a choice and love is the choice that is usually harder. The real definition of love is explained in 1 Corinthians um, chapter 13 verses uh, 4 through 8. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. 
It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. So love endures all things. That means it overcomes all things. Yes, we know what not to do. Um, it's what the Bible and what Christianity is against. But I want to go over it real quick. One of the biggest things that Christianity is for and what God is for. First Peter 4, 8 says, Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. And it's so true because if I truly love my son, I'm not going to yell. I'm not going to raise my voice at him, but I'm going to kindly and patiently discipline him in a way that is loving. <clears throat> And I am not good at that whatsoever. <clears throat> and there's other things too. Colossians 3.14 says, And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. So pretty much if we truly love one another, that's going to prevent us from sinning because sin doesn't just hurt us. It also hurts others. And that is why God gave the Ten Commandments. That is why God says not to do these things, because He is the wisest of them all, and He knows what is best for us, no matter what. If you want an example of how God loves us, me and you, even if you don't even believe in God, He still loves and cares for you. And once you believe that Jesus died for, our, for your sins, then you become a child of God. John 3.16 is like the most heard verse ever, and it shows how much God loves us. For God so loved the world, not Christians, it's not for God so loved Christians, it's for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes, not that, not the Christians who believe or the Catholics who believe, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. I mean, whoever believes that his son died for our sins, and our sins have been forgiven, and our debt is erased, we have a guaranteed spot in heaven, and we are children of God. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do to get rid of that. And I should know, because I have done a lot. Alright guys, that's all I got tonight. I hope, I hope you understand. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out to me, comment. I'll get you my email. I love you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Alright guys, it's getting kind of late. I think we're going to go to bed here pretty soon. Um, I had a fun day with you guys. I'm glad you were able to come along. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please like it. If you have any helpful ideas, please comment. If you liked the video, comment. Uh, pretty much for any reason, please comment. Even constructive criticism, we will take it. Uh, share the video. Good night, Riley. Good night. Good night, guys. <laughs> Good night, everyone.